Well, joining me now to explain how the EU is responding to the refugee crisis is Mark Pierini. He's a Turkey and Middle East expert at Carnegie Europe. So do you think that Europe will be able to come together and achieve an agreement in this emergency? I think they will. Uh, it may not be as orderly and neat an agreement as uh, you might think, because the starting point uh, of the different member states is very different. You have opt-out countries, you have uh, countries accepting large numbers, other countries very minimal numbers. Central Europe doesn't have a tradition of hosting uh, uh, people from the Middle East. So you're going to have a lot of difficulties, but there will be an agreement. Uh, it's not going to look uh, as a very beautiful piece of uh, foreign policy, but it will be there because now uh, we are in a situation where, first of all, we have an emergency with hundreds of thousands of people on EU soil, and secondly, the citizens uh, want the government to do something. An emergency, exactly, as you say. So why are some members of the EU refusing to cooperate? Well, first of all, you have the economic situation. Take Germany. Germany is close to full employment. It has a budgetary surplus. Uh, it has an economy that needs uh, an influx of workforce because they have a low birth rate. So from the economic point of view, one, the citizen feels confident, and second, the economy, the um, uh, employers want to have more workforce. So provided uh, they can manage a quick integration, language skills, adjusting their professional skills, that will work fine. In other countries, you don't have the same situation. This is why you're hearing 800,000 for Germany and 24,000 for France or, or, or even less for, for the UK. But that will remain the case. And I guess a number of countries will simply opt out. Uh, maybe Hungary, maybe some Central European states too. That's right, huge numbers that Germany is offering to take, as you say. Can it afford to do 